Yeah, because I want you to share the story of Brenda. Because Brenda, to me, was the one that I've always dealt with. I've dealt with a lot in my career right. and especially mm -hmm. with the, the dog figurines. I thought that was pretty cool, right. but share that story of Brenda, because I feel like through my career, I've had good leaders, semi bad leaders, but most of the time it was always rated because they came in with that authority, authoritative, you know, presence. Like they're like, mm -hmm. yo, I'm here to lay the law down. I'm dropping the hammer. You, you know, you guys better get your shit in order or else you're going to face mm -hmm. the consequences. And as that was yeah. reading, I was like, Brenda always stuck with me because I've dealt with a lot of Brenda. So share the story of Brenda. So Brenda was my first uh, superintendent. And, um, <laughs> and so um, I, I know Brenda fondly. Uh, Brenda's from Texas. She's, uh, she was a single parent mm -hmm. she had her mother that lived in her home with her. So she had a lot of responsibility. Um, and she, she came from the old school. It was, you know, when I first came in, which was a little different, not really interested in the opinions of an airman. Right. right? Um, and so she came from that, that context, which you really got to put into play as well as you read about Brenda. But if you share bad news with Brenda, Brenda would jump <laughs> up and she would knee jerk react. And in the halls, you know, there's these concrete floors. You could just hear her heels just bumping up and down the down, and you knew Brenda was coming. Right, right. right. <laughs> but I thought I Brenda liked me, right? And um, I I learned that over time. And so they would always send, hey, Satch, go talk to Sergeant Bedford. You know, she's not happy right now. So I would go in there and, and, you know, and then she would sit back, put her feet up, and she would tell me some old war story. But so we don't know a lot about Brenda, just as much as we don't. We didn't mm -hmm. know a lot about uh, Will Smith, mm -hmm. right? Who, who knew that Will Smith would smack the shit out of uh, Chris Rock, <laughs> right? Because we always thought on the surface of things, we thought this is what we knew mm -hmm. about them. Right. But so Brenda really had a kind heart, but she just did not know how to express herself. And so, um, but here's the bad thing that comes with Brenda not being able to express herself well, is that her team was not willing to come to her. Mm -hmm you know, for good news and bad news, because they knew that she would react poorly. And so people that react poorly to the bad news, they have people on their team that are hiding stuff, right? Yeah. They're fudging numbers, they are hiding problems, and they're not communicating. And that is the side effect from being a knee jerk reactor. reactor. Uh, and then I'll go back to it. Then there's a huge loss of trust because because of Brenda acting the way that she did. So here, here was my best part of, of Brenda's uh, when you wrote. So in the book, they gave her, her troops gave her these two statues. They would yeah, do, a uh, figure, uh, they gave him a Rottweiler uh, and a Poodle, so, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, finish it. Rottweiler and so, Poodle. Yeah, so we would put the, we would put the <laughs> Rottweiler, we asked her to put the Poodle or the Rottweiler, depending on how she was feeling <laughs> on the front of her desk. So when you walk past it, you kind of knew what kind of mood situation she was in, right? Okay, uh, it's bad, but it's effective, right? Yeah. But it's bad, right? So, but she, she kept it up. Yeah, yeah. It was funny after, you know, everyone knew it was like, hey, she's not feeling it today. The Rottweiler sitting front and center, you know, so pretty cool. That That's fun. And it's, and it's crazy because one thing like you wrote as well is these leadership principles, you know, these imperatives that you wrote down, the models and everything else, they do parallel with personal relationships. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I also read how you did the comparison with Michael Jordan, which I thought was awesome. It compares mm -hmm. in that, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it really, you could really take this stuff from reading your book and be able to apply it to everyday life. It doesn't That's just right. need to be when you're in a position of leadership. It doesn't That's need right. to be that way. It doesn't need to wait for you to be CEO. It doesn't need to wait for you to be a manager. You could do it every day. As you said, in personal relations with your girlfriend, with your wife, you can apply those things because even though the terminology won't be the same, but the concept and the themes right. can still apply. 